Hey y'all, welcome into the channel. You guys, when I turned the camera on, I heard, oh, oh, let's do it. Get into it. I don't know. So, oh, let's do it. Oh, let's do it. Okay. I don't know if those are just my guides that are like, yeah, let's do this. Okay. Your guides, your spiritual team or your soul tribe members could be really excited about something. Okay. Um, y'all, excuse me, I'm eating a banana, <laughs> but mm, let's get this message out. This isn't the deck I want to use. Although we'll clarify with that. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Oh, let's do it. Mm. Since they're talking about your soul tribe members or team, let's pull some of these Zodiac cards too. Let's see what's going on for our daily, for the day. Happy Friday. It's going to be Friday when you're reading, I mean, viewing this. But I'm actually doing this reading on Monday. I feel like you could have had a really good Sunday fun day. Okay. Or something about your Sunday fun day was good. Could have been self-care Sunday as well. You could have been um, doing a lot of self-care or just, I don't know, following up on something like that. Sagittarius, expansion. Leo, shine. Cancer, immerse. Okay. I feel like someone, you or someone else could be letting their emotions show. I'm hearing let your soul glow, Taurus energy, cultivate. We got Pisces here sensitize and we got aries with acts somebody could have been watching coming to america gemini energy is here okay the energy of the lovers okay also the energy of a decision or someone with the power to make some sort of decision okay they have the the thought it's in the frame of mind okay so someone's making some sort of decision Okay, they're telling me you could be seen as, oh, my left eye is itching. Left eye energy is here. Okay, so um, rest in peace, Lisa Left Eye Lopez. All right. Uh, but anyway, you could be coming out in some energy of Eddie Murphy. Uh, whatever role he played, he was the Prince of Zamunda, right? <laughs> I think he was the Prince of Zamunda. All right. So maybe someone didn't, oh. Someone didn't know you were of royal lineage. Maybe you kept that a secret, okay? Or maybe God asked you to keep it a secret, okay? Okay, okay. They're drawing me to this movie I watched, you guys. And it's called Pray, okay? A call Pray. I feel like you've been around since before, like since the beginning, in the beginning, okay? <laughs> Y'all know that clip where that pastor was up there and he was talking? It was a, a TikTok video or a YouTube clip, Facebook, I don't know, something like that. And he was talking and he was like, in the beginning, but what he was trying to say was in the beginning. That shit was hilarious. If y'all haven't seen that clip, go watch it. Me and my family, we roll. We have had some serious laughs off of that man trying to say in the beginning, okay? Um, someone could have some sort of a speech impediment, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with a speech impediment, all right? People may laugh. They may have laughed at your speech impediment. All right. But I feel like it ain't stop you from doing what you had to do. Fuck them. Okay. At the end of the day. That's all. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. Anyway, I'm telling you what I'm hearing. <laughs> so there's been some sort of snakes eliminated. Maybe these were people that laughed at you. These people are being eliminated. Okay. All right. Snakes eliminated. When watching the movie Prey. Um, predator comes up and he skint the fuck out of a snake. He just skint the skin right off the snake. Okay. The only thing left was the meat of the snake and its nerves. Okay. It was really strange. Really good movie though. The movie was good. It's called Prey and we watched it on Hulu. Okay. So it's taking us to our Indian um, ancestor, our Indian um, lineage. Okay. I told you your soul family. It was something about the soul family. And we got Hathar coming up here. Sagittarius, expand. Your soul family is ready for you to expand. But there's some soul family or soul tribe members that are ready to expand with you. Maybe they see you expanding because there's one, two, three, four people behind you here. I feel like four people could be ready um, to declare themselves as your soul tribe members family members and they're ready to expand with you there there's a follow the leader energy here okay 
it's like they they recognize or understand your role, your assignment, your duty, your path, your destiny, okay? Um, and they're seeing that God is showing you some type of favor here, okay, with shine. That's what's being exposed. So because your snakes are being eliminated, it's allowing more of your light to shine. Yeah, because with um, Guardian Brigitte here, God or guardian, okay, or goddess, she basically is declaring you as this healer. You, They said including the virus that causes COVID-19. You could like on the cool be able to hear, heal, heal, uh, okay, hear. You can hear something. Uh, but I feel like you can heal people who have COVID-19 or you hold some type of, what is this? <laughs> There's some type of stability you hold. This is a, I don't really know what this is, okay? I don't, but I'm drawn to it. And for me, it's giving me energy of wood. Wood is giving me the energy of a structure, a uh, stable. You know, you have wood that'll build a, a solid foundation. It's like, whatever you're doing, there's four energy here. There's four energy I feel like you're bringing they people see you as as a solid healer. They see you as a a solid support system or a solid foundation as a healer. So something about your foundation as a healer, it's been it's solid or your represent rep, rep, mm, 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 reputation reputation is that the word reputation? That sounds weird. I don't know why that sounds weird. You're gonna hear something that sounds weird, but you're gonna know. That it's meant for you. Okay? You're gonna you're gonna hear that. There's something you're gonna come across or you're gonna hear. You're gonna be like, that sounds really weird. That sounds strange as fuck. That sounds like, yeah, y'all, if I say this out loud, people are gonna think I'm crazy. It's something like that that you're gonna hear. I feel like you're gonna hear this from your soul family. So we have cancer with immerse. Emotep, visionary. I feel like someone sees you as this visionary. They see you as a solid um, advice giver or they see you as a solid life coach or they see you as a solid spiritualist. They see you as a solid um, light worker. They see you as a solid star seed. They see you as a solid whatever it is you're doing, um, manifester, whatever this is. It's like they see what you're doing and they want to join you. There's, there's, they want to, there's family, there's unity. U N I T Y, that's a unity. So there's unity energy here. Also, someone's mask has been fully removed. You're going to receive a recipe about a healing paste. Also, maybe something like a tea or something to add to your tea. Okay, someone is Kentucky. Kentucky is very significant or something's going to occur in Kentucky. Two feathers are very significant, okay? The number two is here on Taurus. And we got Taurus and we're talking about balance. Okay, this is justice. Your soul family, I feel like they see, they've decided. They said you spent time on base. So I feel like you spent time on your inner child. You spent time at your root. You spent time healing yourself because you are a healer. You're a visionary. You knew what it took. God revealed something to you and you acted upon the Aries energy. That's what you're going to need to do when you get this recipe. Something about two feathers is significant. Okay. Two feathers. You're going to get a recipe. And this is falling on some Taurus energy. This is going to balance you out. Whatever this is, it's going to stabilize your energy. Okay, Taurus? And uh, a, what is it? Now, something about an indigo child is very significant. And basically, an op. There's an op that's been slain, okay? Falling on Pisces. There is always enough. Maybe the op was an obstacle um, put in your way to make you feel um, unworthy or to make you seem as if 
things aren't going your way or make you feel as if you don't have enough or that things are going to run out or you're running low on supply or something like that. There's strength in you overcoming this op, slaying this opposition, whether it be a person or whether it be a actual, uh, I feel like this has, I'm hearing metaphysical, take that as it resonates, but I feel like this has to do with principalities. Um, this has to do with uh, um, paradigms, okay? So I feel like there's a huge shift that someone's made in their thinking um, that because they've changed their thinking, they have this perception shift. Y'all don't judge my, I don't know what's going on with my mouth right now, but they had that, that change, right? In their perspective. So because they changed their perspective, they realigned because they've realigned, they're now balanced. They're ready. They see you now. See, before they couldn't see you. Or you didn't see them because of the fact that there was this obstruction, okay? Um, there was an obstacle in the way that was blocking the view. But that obstacle has been removed. So I was saying this connects you to your native ancestors, the Indians, okay? And we got the Indians coming out that are wanting you to know at this time that there is always enough. So whatever you were coming up against that made you feel like it wasn't, God is about to prove otherwise. There's some sort of action. There's something that's about to happen. And we have earth magic, Epona. I feel like the universe is about to do something magical for you. You already know what this is, though, because you've seen it. You've seen it in a vision. I'm getting high priestess energy. You're very intuitive, Cancer. Highly intuitive. Source needs you to, to immerse yourself in more of that. Trust yourself more. A lot of us, you all, we have these, these, these gifts or these abilities, these intuitive nudges that we get, but we don't be wanting to trust it because we have nothing to validate it or back it up or confirm it, right? But see, once you start to trust yourself more, the universe will then turn around and give you the signs in the physical, in the earthly realm that you need that will support the vision that it is that God has given to you. But the goal or the, the, challenge is to hold the vision to not give up on what it is that god has shown you regardless of what obstacles obstructions to view that may come up this is like holding this is steadfast this is having mustard seed energy and holding fast to it okay you could be an earth angel this recipe that they're going to give you, it has to do with flowers, okay? There's some type of herb. It's an herb that you're going to need. It's something about possibly dandelion or a flower that looks like just like this. Y'all, I am not playing. And I'm going to tell you why. Because here, I brought it in the reading. So this is confirmation that I ain't tripping. Because I found this flower today. I don't know what kind of flower it is. I got to do my research on it. But there's something that Source wants me to do with this flower. I don't know if I need to boil this motherfucker or if I need to burn it. I don't know if I need to um, eat it or if I need to uh, drink it. I don't know yet, okay? Um, or if I need to just create a paste. If I need to just smash it up, you know, or let it dry. I'm not sure. But it's going to be something like that where Source is going to show you something. And look at that collaborate energy. So confirmation that the collaboration is on the table. If someone is ready to collaborate with me, know that I am open to that. Whoever that is, I'm open to that. I've always been the one that has been open to that. But I've had to go into defense because people have tried to tear me down so damn bad that it's like, well, fuck being open. Let me defend myself right quick because y'all think I ain't got it like that. So somebody could have thought you didn't have it like that or they thought you weren't like that or they thought you weren't you for real or they thought you they, oh, they thought you was playing silly games. But it's like silly rabbit tricks are for kids. I don't see you out here in no kid energy. This is soul family energy with Hathor. This is you are a healer. This is you being a visionary with Emotep. Um, this is you with Mawulisa being balanced. This is you knowing with Sedna, your Indian ancestors, that there is always enough. This is 
epona with earth magic the universe is a very magical place so for me the way i get it is there's no need for you to do anything extra but be just be like for me i don't have to do magic i am magic i am magic shout out to magic johnson something significant about magic johnson or basketball i don't know take that as a reference re resonates okay but kuan yin kindness and nurturing i feel like this is an energy you've always held but someone's view was blocked and they couldn't see that about you because someone else could have been trying to say otherwise or prove otherwise so you going on the defense okay um actually you was out there fighting with your ancestors then because your ancestors were like look let's clear this Okay, they think you ain't about it. Let's clear it. Okay, let's do it. Let's show them. Hey, go. Oh, let's do it. Hey, okay, now I get it. Thank you, spirit. I get it. Oh, let's do it. Hey, get into it. Okay, so you had to do it. You got the. You got your elbows dirty. Your knees dirty. You didn't have a problem um, getting dirty. You didn't have a problem. Um, you know, putting in that hard work. Hard work pay off. Hard work pay off. This deck is in the in the reverse. Hold the hell up. That was communication though. Okay. Hard work pay off. Give me something on this. Sagittarius expanding. So our soul family is expanding. I feel like our family is growing. For some out there, your family is literally about to be growing because you're pregnant. Okay. So you could be expanding a real earthly family. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with cultivate empress energy is Taurus. So basically you could be a mother figure. Okay. Um, or you could be about to be a mother or some type of parental figure or guardian. Okay. So we got clarify. I feel like, yeah, this is a 16. Okay. Your soul family wanted to clarify this for you. Your, your soul tribe members, your angels, your spiritual team, they're like, look, let's clarify this for you because maybe you were unsure, okay? Well, basically, this op has been slain. Um, you've been following the yellow brick road or the guidance of your soul tribe, okay, of your ancestors, and it's gotten you out of any type of sticky situations. It's gotten you out of any type of situations where you did have to fight or defend yourself, okay? Or where someone was competing with you or whatever the case is. And now you are a healer. Okay, what's about to come out is there's a rebirth for you. Pluto energy, okay? Wow. Something significant about your perseverance. You persevered through a lot. You've endured a lot. But but like God saw all of that and God was like, "Okay, I'm only doing that because I'm I'm building your spiritual muscles." OK, I'm building your spiritual muscles because then when towers come or then when things look shaky or rocky around you, whether it be you physically, your health, your foundation, your career, your children, your family, your love life. It's like no matter what happens, you won't fold. How they say you won't break. You're unbreakable. This is unbreakable energy. OK. I feel like now you've learned to apply that faith, that unshakableness to any, it's like, it's because you went through what you did, you were tested in the way you were now with progressions and journey, no matter which road you go down, no matter what height you're climbing, no matter what the terrain is, okay, meaning whether it's, it's a water sign season, okay, or we're in an air sign season, or we're in fire sign energy, or we're in earth sign energy, no matter what energy you're going to hold because you are magic you are this earth magic you're gonna know how to act on this journey you'll be in control you'll be able to make solid decisions from a not a triggered space but you'll be able to make these solid decisions from a grounded space knowing that you have faith that your faith is what's required at those times when it gets hard, God is calling your attention. He's like, hey, <clears throat> did you forget to have faith? <laughs> did you, uh, what you forgot? Did you forget I was still in control? Did you forget I was God and God alone? Did you forget? It's like, he's like in those times, like, did you forget? Let me, let me, let me call you back. Come back, come back, my child. You forgot daddy had it. You forgot daddy got it. Okay. It's something like that with balance and my woo Lisa, right? We're home. So he'll call you back home. Fourth house energy. Back to your core, cancer. 
back to the home, to the base. Okay. And that's your inner child. I feel like you, you got that recipe. You got that formula. So you're sharing this formula with others. Like when it gets like that, there's a need for you to hold your faith, hold your guns, stand your ground, know who you are. Don't sway from that. No matter what nobody says, they could say uh, the whole U S army is coming for you, but you don't have no fear in your heart. It's faith over fear energy. I saw a sign today while I was working and the sign said that just that. In a field all by itself, faith over fear. That's all that's required. In the unknown, source wants to see, are you going to whimper or cower away? Are you going to hide? Are you going to run? What are you going to do? Are you going to call on me? Or are you going to act as if I'm not here at your service? Are you going to ignore me? Are you going to, what are you going to do? It's like in those times, it's the initiation process. Source is like, are you going to fold? Are you going to crumble? What are you going to do? Are you going to break? There's that, communi that uh, community card. It wasn't the other one. Sorry, I was thinking about communication. But something about communication as well. 11th house, community. Okay? So this is the social awareness. This is Aquarius energy. This is the unknown. This is giving me Scorpio energy as well. This is, are you going to let your shadow take over? Which your shadow is fear. Your shadow is fear-based. I'm going to put it that way. But there's a need for you to go to the base, which is cancer energy, which is the home, which is this fourth house energy, and tap in, check in, and make sure that everybody is still aligned with the fact that God already declared you victorious before he set you out on whatever path you're on. Or before, We have free will. So before you ever made whatever decision it is that you made. Right? So it's like sources like right now standing by, they want the, they're, they're, he's standing by the community at this time. And he wants you to know, like, there's always enough. Sensitize Pisces energy. Like you're covered, Pisces, you're covered. All right. What do we have here? We got transits with climate. We got five, five energy. Okay. So that's a 10. There's something significant about the number seven, the number nine, the number 11. I feel like with this seven, something's, there's divine, there's the divine at play. The will of the divine is at play right now. Okay. God's plan is at play right now. Right. And then we got this 27, which breaks down to a nine, which is giving me the energy of a new cycle. It's 22 for, I don't know what that said. 22 something, 40 something on the clock. Okay. As I look down, but I didn't get the last number. Sorry, y'all. Um, but anyway, so that number could be significant, 22, okay? Um, so I feel like there's a cycle now and, uh, that's being wrapped up, okay? This cycle is, it's the end of a, of a cycle, okay? And you're walking into this newness, okay? I'm hearing new favor with this rebirth. I feel like you're going, I'm hearing a renewed spirit, mind, body, and soul. I feel like you're renewed all the way around, like full circle energy. You're renewed, a lot of circle energy in your reading, so basically, okay, my right eye was uh, eyebrow was itching. Okay, something about the throat as well because my throat is itching. Okay, um, basically, okay, maybe something was going on with your throat chakra. Your throat chakra is about to be renewed. There could have been something going on with your third eye. Your third eye is about to be renewed. It's about to be rejuvenated, restored, activated for some turned on you know what i'm saying like maybe you ain't ever used your third eye and all of a sudden like you're about to start to get these visions okay all right something about your spiritual ears you're about to start to hear things you hadn't heard in the spirit before get ready these changes okay God has already revealed this to either you or someone else about what this journey is about, what this path is about, what's happening at this point in time on the path, okay? There's a clock here. I'm drawn to the energy of that clock. So at the bottom of the deck, we got Uranus with change, okay? So this is about recovery. This is about recovery. This is also about your winning season. Because that's what Scorpio is going to entail or be in the embodiment of. Your winning season. Okay? It's my winning season. Okay? It's your winning season. 
All right, so get ready for that as well. Now, something about Mope's children's story could be very significant. Okay, you may need to look that up or look into what that is. Okay, I got to do it still. So i um, giving you my notes. But anyway, um, God already had the traps ooh, set for the enemy. How about that? That's why all there is is a need for you to hold the faith because God already got the trap set for your enemies. So there is nothing to worry about. We be out here trying to do the most and do it ourselves. You ain't got to do that. Death card, it's over. It's over. Your soul family wants you to know it's over. They brought something to a close, two of pentacles. There was an energy that was maybe uh, serving as this obstacle with the two of pentacles. Maybe, maybe they wanted you to only have a little. They only wanted you to be small. And it's like, no, God said, no, you're breaking through this. We're cutting that off. That energy is dead. Okay. Dead and gone. Dead and gone. No. Yeah. I've been traveling on this world too long. Okay. Hold on. Just trying to find my way back home. Because the old me's dead and gone. Okay, go on and speak it out. Go on and sing it out then, Spirit. Spirit is like the song lyrics tell the story. <laughs> okay, or something. I don't know, but there we go. We got seven of pentacles. Yeah, so it's just like go back home. Okay, look at what seeds would cultivate. Empress energy. Look at what seeds you're you're trying to harvest. Look at what seeds you've planted. Okay. Yes, things take time. Things may have not gone the way you wanted them to. But again, your spiritual muscle was being built up so you could be able to flex with that hand energy right there in the 11th house community. Okay. Maybe you're, you flex for the community. Yeah. Because it's like Page of Swords. You have people watching you or depending on you. Now, there's others that are spying on you. Now, I feel like there's someone spying on you no matter. Someone's looking at the seeds you've planted. And that's what I was saying earlier is that I feel like somebody is deciding to collaborate or cross-pollinate with you because they see the seeds you have planted have are bringing you uh, prosperity with that B energy. Okay, somebody, you need to go get some toilet paper. Okay, go get that toilet paper. All right, um, we got 10 of cups. Okay, or don't forget to pick up the toilet paper, all right? And the reason I'm saying that is because, y'all, I'm seeing toilet paper in this card. Y'all see that roll of toilet paper in there? Mm -hmm. So, anyway, um, y'all probably like, where is it? Hold on, here it is. Y'all see this roll right here? Somebody toilet paper. I don't know. Somebody somebody might have the BGs, okay, the bubble guts. I don't know. Just stay near the bathroom, whatever that is. I don't know what that's about, y'all. Okay, but stay close to the bathroom. Okay. Um, now, the other energy I just got was hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Okay. I feel like the bathroom and your, your fourth house, the home, the bathroom in your home is a sacred space for you. Make that a sacred space. A lot of times our bathrooms are where we are able to be alone because don't nobody want to be in there with us while we funking it up. But it's like in that time, maybe someone's looking for some, some time or so, a specific... Uh, uh, space okay to be able to commune with the father okay um or meditate maybe you you can't find the right place try the bathroom okay i don't know that's for somebody okay um so god does, had these traps already set up for these folks that may or may not have been trying to you know interfere with the journey with your path but it's like, what do we got? 2842 on the clock. Okay, that's over. And we got justice coming through for you. Okay, and that's what they want you to know. So these snakes have been eliminated. Their mask done came off. Okay, now, Source is going to give you like this remedy where people who are spying on you with ill intent, Source is going to give you some type of seed. Okay. That you're going to be, and I don't know if it's an actual seed or if this is just a flower or something. There's something source is going to reveal to you like, hey, if you keep this right here, um, then that's going to block out these people that are, that are, that got ill will trying to, trying to, um, you know, who's that peeping in my window? Oh, nobody now. Okay. Like that's how they trying to help you. Like whoever's been peeping in your window or spying on you or looking through your information or something like that. There's something God is going to reveal to you. Like do this. 
this and they can't see you anymore. They can't spy on you like that no more. Or when they do, they're going to get like this, this reverse effect on them. It's like something, God is going to tell you this, y'all, um, because I'm sitting here telling you what God is telling me, okay? God going to reveal this to you. And when you see it, you're going to be like, oh, that girl said that, okay? Y'all better come back and tell me too. <laughs> anyway, so anyone who's a threat, they've been slain. Okay, anybody who's a threat. So that's whoever's spying on you that's a threat. Okay, they're experiencing some sort of endings in their life. Okay, God don't play about you. All right, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, God don't play about you. So what was the last thing I said? Anybody, okay, that was serving as a threat, they done been cut off. Okay, that cutoff game is so strong. Like, you strong arm somebody. Like, no, nigga. <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> anyway, let's see what affirmation we can get. Okay, and then they want me to pull a sign. This sign right here, y'all. Wow. Seen this in my third eye. Okay, liberty. This is how I got the energy for the reading that I did uh, where I spoke about you being free. It has the free uh thumbnail on it okay you need to look at that all right so released empowered and divine okay i feel like that wanted to be seen because i ain't even pulled this but I, it popped up in my third eye so spread love you're free this is about liberty this is 333 energy and look at the flowers that are on the picture this is about a particular flower as a matter of fact this is about echinacea okay so for someone out there, it's echinacea. They're like, if you just get this echinacea and keep it near you, okay, um, it's going to block their ass out or something like that. Um, but for others of you, it may not be echinacea, okay? It may be something else, okay? Um, this is that 333 energy too. I was like, yeah, you've aligned, blah, 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 whatever I was saying. Yeah, that's mm -hmm, that's facts right there. And spirit can com confirm that because that card is not even supposed to be in this deck. Sissy Poo, I'm going to call you right back. Okay. Okay, something about a sister could be significant for you, viewer, as well, okay? Um, you may receive a call from your sister, or I don't know, you need to call and check on your sister, okay? Um, come see about me, that Mary J. Blige song. Come look, Check that song out, okay? I don't know. But anyway, um, this card right here talks about being released, empowered, and divine. And the... Uh, post that I posted on the community board the other day, yesterday, day before, whatever day it was, it had tulips on it, okay? Y'all, this is good energy. So know that you are hashtag red, hashtag released, empowered, and divine. 10.03 on the clock. This has been your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.